is always recommended to have goals because if you are here let's say this is point a and you are here and you have set a goal which is point b nobody knows whether you will reach here or not nobody knows whether you will reach here in one year or two year or 10 years but if you have point b clear that is if you have your goals clear it's always a surety that you will keep moving towards them so you will keep growing in a direction welcome welcome this is amazing sunday morning and i am so so excited to welcome you all to this weekly mentorship session brought to you by buddy for study and the amazing topic that we have today is the golden rules of upskilling aap sabko pata hai upskilling abhi koi choti moti baat nahi reh gayi hai and har kisi ko nayi skills acquire karni hai so that aapki career growth chahe aap school student ho college student ho ya working professional ho aapki career growth lagatar aage badhti rahe iske liye bahut zaruri hai ki aap sahi skills acquire karte rahe right and that is why bahut hi zyada questions jo hamare paas career growth se related aate hain usme humse pucha jata hai ki kaun si skills hame acquire karni chahiye kaun si skills hai jo demand mein hai kaun si skills hai jo industry sabse zyada sort after karti hai and isliye ye session aap logo ke liye rakha gaya hai taki aapko pehle to ye samajh mein aaye ki kaun si skills aapko acquire karni chahiye and second aapko ye samajh mein aaye ki jo skills aapko acquire karni hai wo aapko kaise acquire karni hai so that process aapke liye easy ho jaye so i again welcome you all and i promise that you will get 100% value in this session but there are some rules for that uske liye kuch rules hai jo aap logo ko follow karne honge sabse pehle to aap mujhe ye bataye ki kya aap mujhe properly sun sakte hain dekh sakte hain aap agar ye kar sakte hain to please type loud and clear in the chat box chat box mein type kare loud and clear if you can hear me loudly and if you can see me clearly please type loud and clear in the chat box Can you type loud and clear in the chat box? If you can see me clearly and if you can hear me loudly, please type loud and clear in the chat box. Loud and clear. Can you use the chat box? Guys, please type loud and clear in the chat box. Perfect. Okay. Sure, Darshan. I'll ensure that whatever I speak, even if it is in Hindi, I'll repeat that in English. Don't worry. Okay. So the first rule goes like this: till the time you are specifically asked to, please don't unmute yourself. Just to ensure the smoothness of the session, please be on the mute mode. There will be question and answers at the end of this session. We'll ensure that your all questions, each and every questions, are taken up. Till then, just be on the mute mode. the next rule is you might have those who have attended my session before would have heard this before this as well time is not your biggest asset here everybody says time is your biggest asset time is not your biggest asset the focus is your biggest asset we all have 24 hours in a day we all will be here for the next 1 hour or so but not all of us will gain maximum out of this session why because time as an asset is nothing if it's not accompanied with focus so focus becomes your biggest asset here so the first rule is be here with 100% focus if you have anything else in the next 50 60 minutes you can drop out of here and you can go do that if you have any notification on your mobile phone or you are doing something else and attending this session parallelly i would request you not to do that you set your priorities right and you do whatever you want to do but do not mix this up with any other thing because this will be a very effective session rule number 2 please sit with a pen and a notepad aap logo ke paas ek pen and notepad hona chahiye because one important point can actually end up changing the entire course of your career jab hum bhi ऐसे सेशन अटेंड करते थे या मैंने पर्सनली जब चार पांच साल पहले ऐसे सेशन अटेंड किए हैं आई स्टिल रिमेंबर द ओनली थिंग्स दैट आई कैन टेक 
i can still boast about or i find uh, you know in built in me the things that en- ended up changing my ca- career stream and life they were the things that i noted down during such sessions the only bridge between listening and implementing is noting down so i don't know what you would note down i don't i am not forcing you to actually note down everything but whatever you feel interesting whatever you feel is important please note it down please sit with a pen and a notepad this becomes a second rule the third rule here is whatever happens if you have any questions in your mind if you have any doubts in your mind keep them noted we'll take each and every question at the end because kafi chances hai ki jab session mein main cheeze aapko bataunga to aapke questions apne aap answer ho jayenge but still agar kuch questions reh jate hain last ke 10 15 minutes we'll totally invest in q and a so just keep the questions noted with you and we'll take up them take them up at the end right with this i again welcome you all to this amazing fantastic session brought to you by buddy for study and we will start discussing the golden rules of upskilling with you all right now are you ready for me to start with the main content of the session please type ready in the chat box can you please type ready in the chat box if you are ready for me to start with this session can you type ready in the chat box awesome okay so इस सेशन में ड्यूरिंग दिस सेशन वॉट वील डू इज वी विल बाइफर केट द अपस्किलिंग रूल्स इन टू टू पार्ट द वन सेगमेंट वुड बी द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अपस्किलिंग राइट वेन आई से द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अपस्किलिंग इट मीन्स वाई वाई शुड यू बी अपस्किलिंग एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस अपस्किलिंग की रिक्वायरमेंट क्यू है दैट इज वन द सेकेंड सेगमेंट वुड बी ऑन द वॉट अब पता चल गया क्यों अब स्किलिंग करना है तो ये पता करना जरूरी है कि कौन सी स्किल्स एक्वायर करनी है एंड थर्ड एंड द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट वुड बी हाउ वेयर द गोल्डन रूल्स ऑफ अब स्किलिंग वुड सो वाई वॉट एंड हाउ इज द थीम ऑफ द सेशन टू बी बट टू एंश्योर दैट आई शेयर दिस विथ यू ऑल एंड आई एम एबल टू पास ऑन द वैल्यू इफेक्टिवली आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू नो हु ऑल आर यू are actually studying in colleges or schools or whatever so you can just in the chat box type college first year college second year college third year or school 11th school 12th wherever you are whatever you are doing or if you are a graduate type graduate in the chat box just type first year second year third year or 11th 12th or graduate so i've got my answers from aroma i've got my answer from ravi Darshan is also here. Great. What about others? I need to know from Jaspreet, Mayank. Second year, perfect. Okay, makes sense. So, you are in the perfect position actually to start thinking about the upskilling plans, right? Because the moment you start. your post school life just when you pass out of of your class 12 there is an excitement of entering into a college there is an excitement of getting a you know a little freedom there is an excitement of entering into a new phase now what happens when we are excited when we are happy time goes by fast right when we are sad when we are depressed time behaves a lot slow but when we are excited and happy time like goes out like this and the moment you realize that you have spent 3 years or 4 years of your college you would find yourself already in the placement season when you are looking out to move to the industry for jobs startups whatever and at that time as a professional as a career coach i receive a lot of requests from colleges from college students from college authorities to conduct resume building sessions interview preparation sessions recruitment process sessions for training the students who are already in the final year and i have possibly i have taken almost i don't know 50 plus such sessions in different colleges 
and the only thing that i realize is if you pick these things up at the end of your college life you are not going to have a successful kick start to your career all of those students should have started thinking about the basic concept of upskilling from day one of their college i'm not saying from day one of the college you should start attaining new skills i'm not saying that but you should start thinking about upskilling from day one of your college life. wherever you are first year second year today is the day you should start planning the upskilling because these three years or four years or two years of college that you have with you whatever you plan in terms of upskilling whatever you do in terms of upskilling is something that will define how rich your resume be or how rich your interview will go how good or how bad your interview will be at the end of your college because interview ki preparation ya resume drafting ya resume building ek mahine mein nahi hogi third year mein ja ke aapne jo 3 saal kya kya kiya hai kaun si skills acquire ki hai kaise ki hai usi pe depend karega ki aapka resume kitna rich hai aapka interview kitna acha jane wala hai right and that is the why that is the why you all have with you why you should go for upskilling because without that there is no resume there is no interview there is no content that you can present yourself to the recruiters to the startup investors or whichever career you want to go for without the right upskilling plan nothing will work right that becomes your why let me now go to the context of upskilling which will tell you the what right is my screen visible to you please type visible in the chat box please type visible in the chat box perfect visible So I've told you the why. I'm repeating it. Please understand. Without the why, no session is useful. No hard work is useful for you without the why. Right? जब तक why नहीं clear होगा तब तक क्यों करना है भाई? क्यों करना है आपके लिए? अभी तो school खत्म हुआ है. अभी तो college में entry हुई है. थोड़ा पढ़ लेते हैं. थोड़ा घूम लेते हैं. घूम लो. पढ़ लो. But अगर आपने अपनी upscale लिंग journey plan नहीं की है, तो you will also be a part of that भीड़, a part of that crowd. which goes on and knocks the door of companies for placements and that of four years and if you are actually planning your upskilling well agar aapko pata hai ki aapko kaun si skills require karni hai your journey will be much more planned your resume would be much more rich much richer and your interview would be much more effective at the end of the college life right that becomes the context of upskilling the why of upskilling for you now the what kaun si skills require karna हजारों स्किल्स हैं, बहुत सारी स्किल्स मार्केट में हैं, बहुत सारे तरीके हैं एक्वायर करने के हम कौन सी स्किल एक्वायर करें जो नहीं करना है वो पहले से बता देता हूं आपके अराउंड अगर कोई बहुत इंटेलिजेंट बंदा है और वो टॉपर बंदा है तो उसको फॉलो करके स्किल्स नहीं एक्वायर करना बिकॉज ही इज लर्निंग समथिंग आई ऑल्सो लर्न दैट डज नॉट मेक सेंस because there are news and trends and people are saying that the scope of this skill the scope of this career or the prospects of this career is huge and that is why we end up going for that skill no wo skill bhi nahi acquire karna the skill that you need to acquire depends on two major two major concepts the first concept here is where you are which is also called self assessment and the second most important part here is where you want to go goal setting and let me take you to an amazing framework jiska aap definitely स्क्रीनशॉट ले सकते हैं इफ यू थिंक इट विल हेल्प यू लेट मी जस्ट ओपन इट
Okay. Little complex to understand, but don't worry. You just take a screenshot for now, and we I will explain how this works. Just take a screenshot of this thing, and I'll explain you. So this is called the mindful upskilling formula. Right? What does it say? I'll tell you. It says first of all you identify where you are. And it's simple. Abhi aapko bahut complex jaane ki need nahi hai. You just need to understand as a person, as a student, where you are currently. Which means you would say, let's say you are a twelfth pass out, right? You are good at, you are good at X, Y, Z things. This X, Y, Z can be your subjects, can be. your skills maybe you are good in public speaking maybe you are good in debates maybe you are good in essay writing content development you are good in mathematics you are good in physics whatever you are good in coding so what is the current situation that you are in right how do you assess yourself ki aapke paas kya kya hai aap currently kahan pe stand karte ho that is the first thing you need to understand and as early as you do it the better you in the better situation you will be in now the second thing that you need to analyze is where you want to go from here where you want to now this is generally taken as a very complex question aur bar bar ye baat aati hai sir future ka kisko pata hai aage ka kisne dekha are bhai nahi dekha achhi baat hai kisi ko nahi pata future mein kya hone wala hai kisi ko nahi pata jo goals aapne set kiye hai whether you will be able to achieve them or not nobody knows but it is always recommended to have goals because if you are here let's say this is point a and you are here and you have set a goal which is point b nobody knows whether you will reach here or not nobody knows whether you will reach here in one year or two year or 10 years but if you have point b clear that is if you have your goals clear it's always a surety that you will keep moving towards them so you will keep growing in a direction otherwise if there is no point b today you will do this tomorrow you will do that day after you will do this and you will just move in a circle and you will not grow and that is why it's very important for all of you to have goals now goals can be that you want to become a coder in the next four years after college you want to join a a big four company let's say one of the biggest it giants or you might want to say you want to uh, start your own uh, 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 development agency or you want to keep uh, or you want to work in uh, data science or cloud computing whatever you must have a goal right now when you know where you are and when you know where you want to go and this is something like i want to work as whatever i want to work for company startup whatever kya karna chahte ho kiske liye karna chahte ho ye clear karna koi burai nahi hai aur wo change ho sakta hai it can keep evolving but to start with the direction it is very important that you sit and you understand that these two things you need to pen it down now upskilling plan is nothing but the bridge between this and this that's it if today i am a marketing professional if i go back to 2015 i was a marketing and branding professional right the skills i had was convincing skills presentation skills public speaking advertisements communication this is what i was good at where what i wanted to become i wanted to become a career coach this was 2015 now if i knew that i have these things in me and i knew that i want to become a career coach 
देन आई एनालाइज की करियर कोच बनने के लिए और क्या क्या चीजें रिक्वायर्ड है वॉट आर द स्किल सेट दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बिकम अ करियर कोच Is it like understanding of career mapping? Is it like understanding of uh, child psychology, student psychology? Is it like understanding of uh, uh, psychometric assessment? This is what I understood, and I started attaining those skills one by one. Even today, I don't feel that I am a perfect career coach. I'm not at all like completely here, but I know that I'm moving towards my direction, my goal. that is how you decide what skills you would gain you want to go into analytics the basic thing i'm giving an example the basic thing that you need to know is microsoft excel that is the first skill that you should have you want to go into data science the first thing that you should understand is how to read data data modeling and different kinds of skills with data you want to become a digital marketer the first thing that you need to understand is maybe facebook ads or maybe seo or content writing content development so this is how you you think you want to become a developer in future the first thing that you need to learn is a good language maybe python i don't know it's just a matter of research ye dhoondna bahut mushkil nahi hai you would find it anywhere on google or anything anywhere else so you tell me now is the what clear is it clear to you how you would find the what of upskilling ki kya skills attain karni hai is it clear in your mind just type clear in the chat box can you type clear in the chat box can you type clear in the chat box what are the two things that you need to understand before deciding what skills to have perfect perfect so mayank that's great the same concepts apply to you as well even for professionals these days even the people who are early stage working professionals they need to keep up skilling and for you to decide what skills you should have you must first decide where you are what are your strengths what are the skills you already know and then where you want to go what is the goal one year from now two years from now five years from now then what is the gap वहां पहुंचना तो है बट सिर्फ सोचते रहेंगे वहां पे पहुंचना है सिर्फ सोचते रहेंगे कि हमारा प्लेसमेंट बहुत ही दासू कंपनी में हो जाए सिर्फ सोचते रहेंगे तो होगा नहीं यू नीड टू कीप वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स एंड द सिंपलेस्ट वे ऑफ वर्किंग इज आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट स्किल्स दे आर लुकिंग फॉर इफ दे आर रिक्रूटिंग फॉर अ सर्टेन पोजीशन इफ यू वांट टू गेट रिक्रूटेड फॉर दैट पोजीशन सिंपल फिल द गैप आइडेंटिफाई दोस स्किल्स एंड लर्न देम दैट इज द व्हाट नाउ possibly the most interesting part which forms the crux of the session today is how because agar itna hi aasan hota upskilling karna to puri duniya hi kar rahi hoti sare log sahi skills acquire kar lete aur sare log achhi positions pe baithe hote par aisa kyun nahi hai why is this not a widespread case if that is so simple if this is so simple i'll tell you why is this not that widespread case because to learn anything new to learn any concept or any skill or to learn anything for that matter the first thing that you need to work is on your mindset you need to first work on your mindset then you work on the concepts and then you work on the action the application and people generally in a hurry forget to work on the mindset i tell you whether it is excel whether it is facebook ads whether it is python whether it is data analytics whether it is any skill that you need to acquire to set the right mindset there are three secrets that you need to understand that generally people do not follow the three secrets i call them the three secrets of mindful upskilling so there is upskilling and there is mindful upskilling what is mindful upskilling upskilling that you are doing with up by applying your mind with the right mindset that is mindful upskill should i start with the first secret type bio in the chat box bio is bring it on bio is bring it on type bio in the chat box if you want me to start with the first secret type bio in the chat box bio is bring it on great 
so the first secret of mindful upskilling is this i have had an experience of training or let's say coaching over 5000 students in the last 6 years or so and trust me if there is one common problem with most of the students as well as early stage working professionals that is young professionals who have just started their jobs are facing is the problem of psychological occupancy the problem of psychological occupancy is very widespread what is psychological occupancy you understand occupancy occupancy means being busy being working all the time there is occupancy you are occupied i am occupied if i say i am occupied i mean i am busy not free what is psychological occupancy it means that in reality whether you are busy or not does not matter psychologically you are very busy i'll give you an example i was having a session with some of the graduate students both bba and btech on profile building so second year third year fourth year students and i was training them i was having a session on profile building how to develop your profile and was just telling them that during your college times you must do internships you must do projects and the way you should get projects freelancing projects good internships where you get them i was just training them and there was a round of question and answers and few of them asked me a question sir time hi nahi bachta hai hamare paas hum kab internship kare hum kab projects kare करना तो हमें सब है लेकिन टाइम ही नहीं बचता हमारा कॉलेज का टाइम फिर हमारी कैट की क्लासेस फिर कॉलेज में एक्स्ट्रा क्लासेस इवेंट्स हम कभी ये सब करेंगे अच्छी बात है तो मैंने पूछा बताओ यार कॉलेज का टाइमिंग क्या है तो आफ्टर डिस्कशन आई अंडरस्टूड दैट द कॉलेज टाइम वाज मंडे टू फ्राइडे टेन टू टू टेन एम टू टू पी एम कैट क्लासेस फॉर देम हुर going for cat classes was 2 hours on saturdays and sundays so 2 hours saturdays 2 hours sundays okay any kind of event in college that happened like once in a month or maybe once in two months took them like one day or two day of occupancy for them so out of a day of 24 hours let's say sleep 8 hours 9 hours student like 10 hours whatever you still had like 14 hours 4 hours of classes a day 10 hours you get on each day so monday to friday you have 40 hours 50 hours 10 hours each 50 hours apart from your college and sleep and whatever saturday sunday you have 2 2 hours block for cat exams you still have like 10 12 hours on saturdays and sundays and you're saying that you don't have time this is what is psychological occupancy if you start upskilling with this mindset just to feel psychologically busy अच्छा साइकोलॉजिकल ऑक्यूपेंसी आती कैसे है भाई कॉलेज जा रहे हैं कॉलेज में दोस्त दिख रहे हैं कोई इधर भाग रहा है कोई उधर भाग रहे कोई ये कर रहा है कोई वो कर रहा है अचानक से रियलाइज हो मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ एकदम से रियलाइज होता है कि यार व्हाट एम आई डूइंग आई एम सिटिंग आइडल आई एम लूजिंग एंड देन यू जस्ट ज्वाइन समथिंग टू फील साइकोलॉजिकली ऑक्यूपाइड यू जस्ट ज्वाइन एन ऑनलाइन कोर्स यू पे फाइव थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वॉट एवर where you get 15 videos neither you are watching videos or if you are watching videos you are not understanding and just for the feeling of that psychologically occupied or psychological occupancy you keep enrolling for things without getting anything concrete in return this is the harm that psychological occupancy causes you write that on your resume you are asked questions on your interview you are not able to answer you are out the big market that the coaching industry online coaching industry online course industry has today is because of the psychological occupancy because people feel people want to feel occupied they don't want to actually learn things but they want to feel occupied that is where all the online courses and online skill development is like booming because people keep on enrolling for them and not actually pursue the course or even if they want to pursue they'll just keep on streaming the videos so that after the end of all the videos you get a certificate you post that on facebook instagram or linkedin and you psychologically you are like wow i'm skilled in this honestly tell me how many of you can relate to what i'm saying type me in the chat box 
box can you type me in the chat box honestly if you can relate to this if you would have gone through this yourself or some of your friends khud aapne face kiya hai aapke aas pass dekha hai to please type me in the chat box please save yourself from this it's much better to sit idle work on your body work on your mind whether through meditation or workout or some sports or some arts whatever you like it's much better to do that instead of just controlling for anything and everything to feel psychologically occupied no it's a different thing to explore you see something you feel like doing it you're not so sure but you try it out but when that happens you have a commitment to explore that is different but just so that you can say to people and you can say to yourself no no i am doing this 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 don't enroll for courses this is the first secret you need to understand if you understand this secret well you are already better than 80% of the students out there the second secret okay if the first secret was clear please type bulbon in the chat box bulbon means ki yahan pe koi batti jali hai something lightened up in your mind type bulbon type bulbon in the chat box bulb on type bulb on if something here like lighted up type bulb on in the chat box awesome let me now move to the second secret of mindful upskilling this is where we are moving to the how skills and this is something really i i, I would be honest this is tough not like tough in terms of how difficult it is tough because we are not used to this what happens when you prepare for a board exam what happens when you prepare for a college exam let's say a student of management has to study 14 principles of management right let's say a person who is who is who has decided to start learning Uh, business analytics let's say if you go by the exam pattern the indian education system the pattern it follows what you will do you will you'll first search for a book on business analytics you will first search for a book on 14 principles of management and what will you do you will start learning principle number 1 principle number 2 principle number 3 the definitions the features the merits the demerits what is business analytics how it is done why is it used because that is how we give exams right right or wrong type right or wrong if you think what i am saying is right type right or if you think it's wrong type wrong in the chat box right this is the way we learn this is the way we are used to learn things right right upskilling does not happen this way upskilling has a simple rule you go as micro as possible i repeat you go as micro as possible the highest efficiency of attaining a skill is when you attain the smallest possible learning you get the smallest possible skill first for example instead of doing a course on data analytics which will have i don't know from x to from a to z a 30 day course or a 90 day course you start with a 3 day course on microsoft excel and then you move to advanced excel and then you move to data analytics and then you move to advanced data analytics only one skill at a time one micro skill at a time suppose you want to learn digital marketing you decided that you want to become a digital marketer there are so many courses of 6 months 3 months 1 year on digital marketing no use it's much better to learn just facebook ads learn how to run facebook ads once you learn that you are an expert in that then you move to search engine optimization i'm just speaking hypothetically there might be different order but you understand upskilling happen in a micro way and trust me when you write digital marketing in your resume and when you write seo expert in your resume the recruiter would understand who is a generalist and who is an expert who has done courses and who has done upskilling who has certificates and who has the actual skills because only when you learn 
when you attain a new skill it makes sense to write that in the resume certificates to aapko pata hai kaise milte hain now there are different ways on how you can attain this skill that we'll discuss kaise kiya ja sakta hai that we'll discuss but the second secret is you go as micro as possible in whatever you want to learn whatever then you slowly go ahead once you're an expert there you go ahead okay. this was the second secret do you want me to go to the third secret type bio bio is bring it on the third and the final secret of mindful upskilling should i share that with you the third and the final secret of mindful upskilling yes i just need to understand whether you are actively listening or not perfect the las rule what does the las rule says very careful because i am actually disclosing how to attain a new skill las rule says learn apply learn apply and share the most effective formula to learn anything new if you actually understand this no goal would be tough for you no profession would be like unachievable for you no career growth would be like unattainable because everything that you want to achieve in life would require some skills in you and if you know how to attain that skill you are through how to attain that skill learn apply share the problem is 80% in fact 90% of the learners just leave it at this step they just leave it at learn they will definitely learn for example let's say you are learning microsoft excel or you are learning let's say python as a language you learn it you feel happy you feel satisfied you give an exam you score well you leave it at that and then you keep on looking for something else because i have learned this no you have learned that concept of microsoft excel but you have not attained that skill attaining a skill is different to attain a skill you need to go through apply as well as share what is apply suppose you have learned facebook ads you know how to you understood you did a two day course you learned it from somebody a friend a tutor whoever and now you know how to run fb ads you need to at least run fb ads for a month for 30 days that is what it takes to build a skill once you learn you practice is daily daily for 30 days you run fb ads you run fb uh, facebook ads for 30 days for different clients for yourself whatever that is still just the second step that is not just complete once you think that now you are like through now you have that skill now even if somebody wakes you up in the middle of the night and you and ask you to run an fb ad you would run an fb ad because you know it the third thing to complete the circle is share what is share you try to teach the same thing to some friend or some other person or whoever a junior or anything when i say teach it's not formal teaching but you try and share if you can if you can define fb ads you have learned the concept if you can run fb ads you have applied it but if you can actually teach me how to run fb ads then you have attained that skill if you can actually teach me how to work on microsoft excel then you have attained that skill if you can actually teach a layman on how to work on data how to analyze data then you have attained that skill that is the las rule to attain new skills whatever that is so whether you attain a skill online or offline through courses or through projects you apply this formula bulb on movement is it a bulb on movement type bulb on if this is a bulb on movement for you all type bulb on if this was a bulb on movement for you all
थैंक यू ओके द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ टूडे सेशन इज वेयर आई टेल यू वॉट आर द वेज ऑफ अप स्किल सपोज यू न्यू यू नाउ नो वाई यू नीड टू अप स्किल यू ऑल्सो नो वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्किल्स यू नीड बिकॉज यू अंडरस्टूड यूर गोल्स यू आइडेंटिफाइड द गैप एन यू डिसाइड ओके मुझे अगले एक साल में ये दो या तीन स्किल्स एक्वायर करूँ मैं आराम से चलूंगा या चलूंगी ये दो स्किल्स एक्वायर करूंगी नेक्स्ट वन आप समझ गए आपको सीक्रेट्स भी समझ में आ गया कि भाई माइक्रो स्किल्स पे फोकस करना है एक बार में पूरी दुनिया नहीं सीखनी अभी एक छोटी छोटी स्किल सीखते सीखते आगे बढ़ना यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट एज वेल यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट द मॉडल यू नीड टू फॉलो इज लर्न अप्लाई एंड शेयर यू नीड टू लर्न यू नीड टू इंप्लीमेंट प्रैक्टिस एंड देन आल्सो शेयर फॉर फीडबैक क्योंकि मैं आपको बताऊंगा आप अच्छे से समझा नहीं पा रहे हो यार मतलब आपको अच्छे से अभी पूरा अच्छे से नहीं समझ में यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल नाउ व्हाट आर द वेस टू स्टार्ट डूइंग दिस सिंपल The simplest way to attain any skill today at the basic level is YouTube. I don't recommend anybody to enroll for any course unless you have done your research on YouTube. पर आपको कुछ भी सीखना है पहले free के YouTube videos देखो ताकि पता तो चले free की चीज में interest आ रहा है कि नहीं अगर उसमें भी interest नहीं आया तो पैसा देके कहाँ से आएगा? So first you explore YouTube for free videos on that particular skill और बहुत सारे मिलेंगे. The people who are using YouTube videos productively know that almost anything today can be learned from YouTube. Now, only when you will want to go deep comes the online courses. But online courses, whether it is Udemy or an academy or Coursera or whatever, or people like me giving courses on mindful career growth or whatever, all these courses would cover the learn part. आपको समझ में आ जाएगा concept. How would you apply? application needs projects and internships you must get a project you must get an internship to work on the skills that you want to attain learn kar liya apne concept cv mein likh do internship lo freelancing projects lo kuch nahi mil raha apne friend ke liye karo apne known circle ke liye karo but apply karo free pe karo free mein karo aap learn karo but karo that is how you apply sharing i've already told you teach or explain to your colleagues or friends or whatever this is how you do it this becomes the ways always start with free then go to paid that is slightly cheaper and then application projects and internship trust me if you understand Told or if you understand these things properly on how to know which skills to attain, then what things to remember while attaining skills, while upskilling, and the ways of upskilling, you will end up saving a lot of time as well as a lot of money of yourself or yourself or your parents, and still get an amazing, amazing career. That was it from our side, guys. A big thank you to all of you for. attending this session and a big big thank you from the side of buddy for study and satyam kandilwal your own career mentor anything that you need to ask the portal for question and answers is open now you can use the chat box or you can maybe unmute yourself and ask both is fine you want to take a screenshot of the seventh slide i believe somebody has said that i am just holding it for you you can take a screenshot of the seventh slide so aroma your question is pretty much it's pretty interesting it's valid so aroma has a doubt that youtube today can make us learn anything but it does not give us certificate so is it okay with that yes it is okay with that trust me i've been a part of campus placements i've given a lot of interviews when i was in college plus i have taken a lot of interviews going to campuses now nobody is asking for a certificate if you are able to justify your skills If you say you know Microsoft Excel, if you say you know Python, and if you are able to prove that in the interview, nobody will ask for a certificate. 
so certificates is just for your psychological satisfaction still if you want to do an advanced course in some skill then you go for a certification but you don't do it for certificate you do it for learning right don't focus on certificates as simple as that focus on attaining the skill is it clear aroma perfect any other question guys anything else i repeat you can either ask on the chat box or you can unmute as well and ask okay till the time you are asking question okay after 7 years in half 7 and a half years in it and half in credit risk okay i am planning to move to consulting so mayank is asking this question could you tell me a few skills i have i should focus on sure mayank so if i am just assuming that you want to go into it consulting or you want to go into finance consulting because different skill sets are required for that of course there are some common skills that are required for finance it's perfect now you need to understand mayank even in finance uh, consultancy whether you want to go for uh like investment consultancy or whether you want to go for uh, uh maybe credit consultancy you want to consult banks you want to consult individuals hn and is who so first you define your target financial risk proper go for understanding financial modeling financial financial risk management like right? the frm course that is there so whatever you want to work on which is financial risk there are some skills that is specific to that aapko wo skills to acquire karni hai then there are some common skills that is required for consultancy which is of course presentation skills public speaking skills negotiation skills right how to build frameworks because consultants are hired for building frameworks consultants are not hired hired for execution right they are hired for consultancy giving strategy so how would you make strategic frameworks that is a different skill and you would find a lot of courses even on youtube or otherwise right so just i think go for a course whatever you want to learn is it to become an expert in financial risk you learn that separately but for consulting i think a uh, one person who has an amazing course you know for putting uh, so aspiring consultant is ron malotra just check for ron malotra he runs a course on how to become a consultant the transition from a job employee to a from an employee to a consultant just check for ron malotra i think you would find this course like really interesting uh, so ravi is asking i want to become a politician awesome man that's great i am good in it sector but i took ba as i want to become a politician i want intermediate in it does not matter ravi i think if today to go into it you don't need a degree in it it's as simple as that just acquire some coding skills learn a language start doing it start working for an agency so many development agency website agencies are looking for coders looking for developers looking for people who are good in wordpress just like do that whether you want to go into development or uh, website or whatever you just acquire that skill from youtube and through online courses and you float your cv you start taking up projects in the it sector lot of jobs there don't worry about it what next okay my welcome thank you so much okay guys in one word average good great i need a feedback from you about this session please be very honest average good great about the session in the chat box average good great i need a feedback from you all an honest feedback thank you ravi thank you jaspreet what about others thank you aroma thank you mayank perfect just speak anything that you want me to add that you expected that should have been added in the session anything that you felt was missing that could have made the session a little better
okay then that's it we are concluding today but every sunday we'll come up with similar interesting topics similar interesting themes and just stay tuned to the body for study website www.bodyforstudy.com and you will find the theme for the next session as well and i think all of you are already uh, included in the whatsapp group added to the whatsapp group the next session the topic the theme will be updated in the whatsapp group as well and we'll see you we'll meet again for an amazing session like this next sunday 12 noon till then keep learning keep exploring all the best bye bye guys